the primary thing we can do to reunite people with their bikes when they've gone missing is have the proper information. The best piece of information we can have in regards to bikes is the serial number. So you'll find that on almost all bikes, if you flip your bike over on the bottom of the crank, which is between the pedals, there's a unique number, it's unique to your bike. Take a picture, copy it down, keep it somewhere safe, because that way, if your bike does unfortunately get stolen and we happen to recover said bike, we can prove that it's yours and get it back to you, which is obviously an ideal circumstance. Unfortunately, lots of people don't take those precautions and therefore the bikes never come home. I think we were at 580 last year and we're at 590 as of yesterday anyways. Obviously, it's an ongoing problem. Lots of people are suffering because of it. It's a combination of things. People run into a store, they won't lock them up thinking they're just gonna be a second, come out, no more bike. They use poor quality locks. Uh, they leave them in a garage or a shed. They don't, they don't lock the doors or they leave them in plain view of the windows, stuff like that. Our recommendation is always U-locks over cable locks 100% of the time. They're a little bit unwieldy. We get it, they're heavy, but they're heavy and they help protect your bike. So a little bit of uh, inconvenience as far as carrying it around versus walking home, kind of got to weigh your options. You want to lock your bike as close to the rack as possible and ideally, you want to go through your bike frame, the rack, and at least one tire. Um, most bikes these days have quick release on front or rear or both. So again, that's where making sure your tires are, are included or even having that secondary cable lock just to keep everything together comes in.